about you being games fans and obviously great he's toy fans. He's a like fishing that. fan. Are you a fishing fan? He's, he's a fishing, fishing nut. Oh, I used to fish. Well, I'll slip away now, shall I? <laughs> <laughs> what sort of things do you catch? All sorts of fish. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a lot. I just like fishing, but I don't catch it. Oh, sort of fresh water fish. Yeah, fresh freshwater fish. Yes, yes, yes. Mainly in rivers and things like that. That's right. Right, okay, listen, you're going to help us with a couple of prize picks, aren't you, from the basket. Have you seen what he changes into when he's finished doing this? A Look. cushion. Look. A cushion. This is overcoat for when he goes home. Oh, Sorry, yeah. go on. Apparently. So rest your feet on. That's all right. Right, let's go. Crow, can you can you lower the old baskets, do you think? Over all right, there, yeah. Chris, right? Chris, right, lower let's, the... Let's take a wonder. Lower it down. Right. Lower it down. Right. This i got to see. All the bits left over from Christmas. Trapped. Just a bit more. Bit further. A bit more. Fraction more. Cool. That'll do. Oh. That's great. <laughs> These are the they failed the audition it's for Superman, are they? That's right, yeah, they failed the audition for me. Yeah. You will believe a basket can fly. Right, so if we start with this one down this end, right, this was the Michael Sundin bargain. He said, what was the name of uh, Michael's top trampolining title and what year was it? Okay, the answer, as the clawed hand goes in there, World Synchro Championship in 1976. Uh, the pics of Michael, the Blue Peter T-shirt, the signed Cats LP, and the Swedish horse, the Norse, goes to... Tracy Powell, 19 Scholars Road, Chingford, London, E4. God, your Wiltshire accent is getting better as well, isn't it? This is, is coming on. Go on, give us a bit of fluent Wiltshire. What, a bit, a bit of Wiltshire? Great, great. Right, great. Okay, fine. Don't work on it, long. All right, well, you got a second one here, which is the part bargain. Uh, Ghostbusters and number six on the charts. Who had a hit in 1970 with Spirit in the Sky? And the answer is Norman Greenbaum. Norman Greenbaum. Baum. Baum. Right. Baum sounds better. This is from... Before I read this out, I've got to say, Happy Birthday, Robert. There we are. I see it kill me when I get home. Right. This is from... The winner of the thing was Charlotte <coughs> Scott, who's ten, and she lives at the Roundall, which is Aldern, Nairn, in Scotland. Great. Great. And it's written on the back of a, a, a Nessie. Well, don't put it back in, otherwise... Oh. <laughs> Uh, right, and uh, the, the Superstore Cassette and LP, the Fan Club Directory, and uh, the Picks, and uh, Juan's Flight to Paradise. Uh, you'll be getting that, whether you like it or not. And finally, he said in his watch reaction, the Dr. Roo bargain. To what are Cybermen allergic? To what are Cybermen allergic? You could either have had gold, nail varnish remover, or radiation, or all three. David Watson, 58, Ridgeway, Pembury, Tunbridge Wells, Kent. Okay, and the picture of Doctor Who, Superman thingy, and also the Dalek will go to you. Did you put the first one back, or did you keep that first one? No, I got the first one here. Oh, you have. Oh, you would worry in. then. You'll worry, won't Hop you? Hop in and we'll, we'll fly away. Right. Uh, what we're going to do now is watch a bit of Spider-Man. Are you Spider-Man fans, cartoon fans? Oh, yes. yes. I'm a Thor man myself. Oh, what a th I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry to wear that. <laughs> Sit in the Thor. Maybe get you some talcum powder. <laughs> right, here's Spider-Man and the Iceman. <laughs> 